here I am, we're at the field and uh, it's looking absolutely fantastic. No wind, battery's already charged from last night. Heli checked last night, so I'm just gonna get straight into it and get some flying going. Waiting for some guys to show up. Here we are, Ben's back at the field. 24 tooth on his Goblin 380. It's gonna be an absolute monster. So a bit of a remaiden. Gonna get the maximum out of this three fighter. Yeah, when with the high head speed, you're gonna have to go through that whole process. Drop your gains a bit. Shouldn't take you too long to get it. We're on it. 34, 30, yeah, it's going top so far is about 34. But it's averaging around 34, 20, 30, yeah, it's about 3400 now. better. Going from 21 tooth to uh, 24 is the uh, way to go definitely. So gains are needed to drop a little bit but other than that it's good. So far enough and going again. Here we go, we've got the bell. T-Rex 500? 600. 600, sorry. Very nice mate. Thanks, mate. Okay folks, well I've got a bit of an update for you. Um, probably about the 12th flight of the morning, um, probably close to 11 o'clock now. Things were going absolutely fantastic. Um, practicing some new moves, um, getting a bit rough with the heli. And um, the last flight I was flying the Year 7 SE, the Synergy, my favorite heli. Um, and yeah, disaster hit. She um, depowered in, uh, in the middle of uh, some aileron TikToks. That was some great aileron TikToks, by the way. And uh, yeah, I um, was able to recover it, get her upright. But um, she'd lost a bit too much head speed as you do with TikToks and um, landed a bit hard on the skids. Um, I was flying with the Rev Electrics, which are just a fantastic battery. I haven't had any issues with these, and there's lots of power in these. But uh, she seems to have come away pretty nicely, I think. Um, the skids have, bro have broken. We'll have a closer look on the bench in a sec. Um, and because she um, absorbed all of the impact on the skids, um, there's no tail damage. The boom is straight. Doesn't look like there's any anything uh, you know crooked in the main shaft or the tail shaft we'll have a closer look all the surveys seem nice but yeah i think it's just main blades skids and uh probably a few bits and pieces and a bit bit of resoldering and she'll be back up in the air so anyway that's the update let's have a look on the bench all right so here we have um the synergy e7 um the skids have now been removed so yeah as i was saying the um bit of damage to the skids, it's basically where the impact has occurred, coming down upright and flat. Um, and you can see here, the blades have um, 
gotten crooked once they've hit the ground and st struck the ground and uh, caused a bit of damage close to the root of the of the blade. So I need to buy a pair of blades um, to get them matched. No use of reusing this one. Um, the other one that's not damaged. Um, and a closer look at the heli, you know, all the servos seem okay at this stage. No damage to the frame. She didn't really come down that hard. Um, everything seems intact. Having a closer look at the gears, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any damage to the gears. Um, no crunching noises when I rotate anything. Um, yeah, and it seems all fine. The other great thing is um, I've got some custom battery slide trays with a locking pin on my Synergy. It's a bit of a retrofit. Um, and I thought the, uh, the impact on the skids might have caused some damage to those, but even though they're fairly, fairly thinly made to conserve weight, they've actually managed to um, take the burden of two crashes now. This is the second crash on them and no damage whatsoever. Um, the, sl the sliding tracks are unaffected, straight as. Um, so yeah, she'll, she'll lift to see another day. Uh, you can see where it's desoldered, so just where my fingers are that's basically desold in the middle of the flight in some uh, in the middle of some aggressive maneuvering but there you go um, not too bad and what's the one thing that all pilots dread after a crash that's right it's damaged canopies and uh, fortunately my canopy is unscathed and will live to see another flight Controlling right? Yeah. That's always, that's always on. No, no funny vibes, looks good. Good dose, so I'll get the combo head speed. Yeah. Keep it away from us. Cool. Nice and smooth. Okay, Ben's got his 770 out for a bit of fun. Or should it be smallest to gigantic? <laughs> Breaking that air. 